Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be looking at the top 7 most affordable mods to do to your first car. First of all, before you start modifying your car, you want to make sure to fix everything what's currently wrong with the car. Once everything's all fixed, you can start modifying your car. So young drivers normally can't afford proper mods like wheels and coilovers. And this might not even be because of the initial cost of the mod, but the insurance costs just end up being way too high. So to start off this top 7, we've got repainting your grills and trim. Most cars have got that horrible grey plastic, so to fix that you can just respray it in a nice gloss black. But there is a process to this, you can't just go and respray it. For the most part, you need to prep all the parts what you want to respray, taping off areas depending on if they're removable or not. And this is actually something what I did to my car. This is actually a very cheap thing to do. All you have to pay for is the primer, the actual paint, and then the lacquer. And this cost will vary depending on how many things you want to respray and the quality of the paint. I managed to do mine for about 20 quid. Coming in at number 6 on the list, we've got debadging. This is actually the cheapest thing on this list because you're literally removing parts from your car. This will give your car a nice clean look. But depending on the car, it may not be as simple as just taking the badge off. It may require smoothing or a blank grill with no badge on. So this can actually be a free mod to do if your car requires a debadge grill or a bit of smoothing. If you don't want to get a debadge grill or do any smoothing, then you can always just spray it black. Or in my case, I wrapped mine matte black and put a glossy black sticker on top. It was actually free for me to do because I've got all the materials here already. Coming in at number 5 on the list, we've got a stereo. This is actually such a good upgrade to do if your car doesn't have touchscreen or anything like that already. Or if touchscreen isn't your thing, then you can always upgrade from FM to DAB. You will need to plug in another aerial so you can get DAB. You can get a cheap Android stereo for about 50 pounds obviously the more you pay the better quality it's gonna be so if you've got the bit of extra money to spend then i'd definitely recommend getting a nice well-known brand stereo head unit it's also good if you want to end up getting a subwoofer in your car the pricing ranges from about 20 pounds for a cheap second hand one to about 500 pound plus the next mod on this list is a shift knob and gear gator this is another mod what I've done on my car. It just completely transformed the way it looks. Most cheap cars have generally got a terrible looking gear stick and gear gator. Like mine, it had a horrible tacky gear stick with a terrible looking rubber gator. And this was actually one of the first mods that I did to my car. And there is actually such a big range of gear sticks out there that you'll definitely find something that you like. It's a super easy job to do as you literally have to unscrew your old one and screw the new one on. But the gear gator may be slightly more difficult depending on your car. Now I wouldn't recommend this but I actually ended up hot gluing my gear gator in. Just think about what you're doing before you go for one of them extra long gear sticks as you probably will regret it. I know it's subjective but it probably will look stupid as well. Now depending on the parts that you buy this can actually be extremely cheap. My gear gator and gear stick combination only costed me about £30. Now in comparison to proper mods, that's insanely cheap. Now you can probably do this for about £10 depending on what you get, but you can also do it for like £300. So coming in at number 3, we've got floor mats. Not only will this keep your carpet nice and clean, but it'll actually add a bit of personality and customization to your car. There is absolutely tons of designs out there, so if you want to go for a clean look, you can go for a clean OEM look. And if you want to go for some extravagant light, some mad design, you can do that as well. And these are actually so cheap as well, you can get a set for under £15 tailored to your car. Coming in at number 2 we've got window tints. And this is something you can do yourself for cheap. And this doesn't have to just be on your windows either. You can do your headlights, tail lights, fog lights, anything. Just make sure you check what's legal as you don't want to be driving around with illegal mods. As we all know, police love pulling over people with dark window tints. This can be done for as cheap as £5. It just depends how many things you want to tint on your car. All you need is the roll of tint, a squeegee and a knife. I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube videos out there showing you how you can do this yourself. And last but not least, tyre text. So although I'm not really a fan of tyre text, a lot of people do like it. There's a few methods of doing this yourself. So you can use a stencil and a rattle can, or a spray paint can. You can use tyre text pens, but I've been told they don't last very well. And stick on tyre text. But again, with the stick on tyre text, it probably will peel off. The most long-term permanent method would be the stencil and the spray paint can. And this just adds that race or track style to your car. You can do this for as cheap as £5. 
And before we end today's video, I just wanted to ask you guys what sort of car you would like to see on the channel. And that wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.